Today I want to show you how to plan a mission in Cubase. For that, we go to the mission section in the Cubase starting screen and start with a new mission. Our task is to perform a flight over this field here in the middle of the screen and for that we are looking for a proper starting and landing place. I think here we can park our car and start from this little street. So, for that I go to mission settings, choose our designated aircraft, today it's the Trinity F90 Plus, and we want to perform this flight with a Sony RX1 R2 42 megapixel camera. After that, the next step will be to set the takeoff and landing position. For that we go to add new element, choose set takeoff and landing and place it where we want to take off. I place it here. As you can see, on default, the, the takeoff and the landing direction are always pointed from south to north. Now we want to adjust this um, takeoff direction and the landing direction according to the wind. As you can see here, the wind is coming from the southeast. So we will try to face the takeoff cone and the landing direction into the wind. For that, we go to the waypoint settings. First is the takeoff and change them according to the wind direction. We can narrow this transition cone a little bit, so the Trinity is forced to perform the transition in between this cone. The same for the retransition, we go to the table of content, highlight number three, retransition. Now we can adjust the retransition waypoint, should be usually in this inner circle and a little bit before your home waypoint. So I place it here and now change the direction that the Trinity will do the retransition also against the wind. So the Trinity can come out of the descent circle here in an altitude of 30 meters and will be in hover mode here and can easily land on your designated landing and starting point. Okay, that's for landing and starting. And now the next step is to plan the area. I'll click Add New Element again. I'm planning now drawing a new area. To draw a new area, I click Sign. I get the, this pencil tool again, and I want to plan a mission over this field. For that, I just need four waypoints. Maybe a fifth waypoint here because of the shape of the area. On default settings, we have now 120 meters, a side overlap of 75%, forward overlap of 70%. That seems to be perfect for our task today. We get a trigger speed of 1.4 seconds. That's absolutely okay. That's capable for the RX-1. Now we have a look on the ground sample distance, because that's the most important thing, that you have a proper ground sample distance all over your area. You see here a color code in the lower right side of the screen, beginning in 1.5, exactly according to the settings, and some red points. Now we have a look on our area. For that, to activate this color code, you have to click on this photo symbol in the area, in the table of contents. Now we see all of the camera symbols, the camera positions are in this bright green. That means all your camera positions will have a GSD of 1.5 centimeters. That's quite perfect. To double check that, you can also go to the plot section in the bottom of the screen. Here, this plot section, as an GSD area and you see the GSD is not changing all over the area. It's always staying around 1.5 centimeters. It's just changing almost unnoticeable. Next step is to check in the 3D scene. You can have a look in 3D how your area looks like. For that you go to the lower left section to show general map actions. And here on the right is this switch 2D, 3D map, this hill symbol. And you're clicking here, the elevation model is loaded, and with the right mouse you can change from 
2D view to 3D view. So there, as you can see, the area is completely flat. That's absolutely perfect for our basic mission. We'll finish that mission. Okay, turn. So now we, we can go back to the 2D uh, scene. Now we can save the mission, going back to the main screen of uh, Cubase. Save mission, give it a name. The mission is stored. You can see it. For uploading this just plan basic mission to your Trinity, click upload here in the upper section of Cubase. And that's it. But you're ready to fly. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.